drawing is sprung. To draw your hair, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. Let's get started. We're going to start off with the body of the hair, which is going to be a large oval shape tilted to the left hand side. You'll see what I mean. So just very, very lightly in pencil. Don't press too heavily because we need to rub this out afterwards. We're drawing a oval shape. I was about to say circle, wasn't I? oval shape like this there we go and then we're going to be doing a smaller oval shape to the right hand side of this one so this is going to be the head so that little oval shape just like this doesn't matter if it's not perfect these are just preparatory lines this is just to help us decide what the composition and size is like okay now for the ear which is just going to be just a simple little shape like this okay nothing too difficult I'm going to join up these two oval shapes with a little line here and then a little line down here there we go if we get it wrong we can just erase it and then start again like I can see that this oval shape is a little bit too fat so I'm just going to erase just that bit okay it's a little bit more narrow and then I'm going to be drawing the eye here one line there for the nose it's already taking shape isn't it and then the little tail is going to come out from just here on the left hand side of the oval just like that and then we're going to be drawing a shape like this and join it up with the oval shape and then two lines for the legs so one starting just here it's kind of to the left hand side of the middle part so it's going to come down this hair is kind of leaping in the air it's going to come down to the right and then it's going to be the foot and then the other one it's just going to be poking out from the back come down and then the middle foot Okay, I'm going to be switching to pen, but please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it better on camera. Okay, I'm going to be starting off with the ears. So just about here, I'm going to be starting the base of the ear. Go all the way up, and then it kind of goes to the left-hand side. Has a little dip at the top. Comes out, and then round. Now I'm just going to draw some little furry lines on the inside. Just look like this. Show that it's super furry, and then one on the other side. There we go, that wasn't too hard. Okay, now for the rest of the head. So we're gonna be drawing the front of the hair. There we go, comes all the way down to this nose. So just like that, that's a little nose, and then it comes down. So the brown hare is Britain's fastest land animal. It can reach up to 45 miles per hour. That's incredible, isn't it? When you think about it, that really surprised me because I thought, well, maybe dogs or, I don't know, they could be a lot faster, but no, apparently not. Apparently it's the brown hare. Okay, now for the eyes. So draw a circle. Okay, now we're going to be drawing two lines, like little diamond shapes on either side, like that. Can you see that? There we go. Now for the inside part, we're going to be drawing the pupil, but I'm going to leave like a little gap in the pupil so it looks like the light's reflecting on it. Fabulous. Now for the other ear. This one comes out from here. So hairs don't actually burrow. Um, they just form these kind of shallow resting places in fields and things like that. And these resting places are called forms. That's quite interesting. It's one of the many differences between hares and rabbits. They're actually two separate species. And hares are much larger than rabbits and they've got much longer hind legs and their ears have like these little black markings on the ends there we go i'm going to make them a little bit more pronounced so that you can see them better there we go okay <laughs> so let's carry on with the neck area so because these hairs are super furry i'm just going to be drawing like these little jagged zigzaggy lines can you see that so it looks like it's got lots of fur I'm going to carry this on. I'm just following this oval shape that we did before. That's the importance of having these 
preparatory line. They're just so useful to like help us with the form and the shape. We know where we're going with our drawings. So I'm going to carry it on just past here. And then I'm going to stop just here for the time being. I'm going to be doing the little tail, which is super, super fluffy. So lots of these little fluffy lines underneath like that. And then now for the legs. So we're going to be starting on either side of this line here. So one part of the leg goes there, one part of the leg goes there. So I'm going to be starting on this side of the leg. It's going to come down. And then it's going to come down a bit more. Then we're going to start the foot. So these are kind of like the toes. And then the underneath is all dark because so I'm just going to colour that in. And we're going to carry on the leg. Come all the way up on the other side of this line that we did before to show where we're going to about there. Now I'm going to draw some fur just some furry lines all the way up like that and some furry lines coming down there. There we go. Now I'm going to carry on with the chest area. And then the forelimb, which comes down here, goes behind this other leg that's already in the air and comes down. So now's the time to actually put in some ground because we don't want to kind of um, show all the feet. So I'm just going to be drawing some long grass. Puts the hair into context. It looks like it's just running through a field. Excellent. And then so I can carry on with this leg. It goes into the long grass. And again, behind here, it goes into the long grass like that. Okay. Now for the other hind leg, which is also peeping out from behind here, I'm going to be drawing a line just coming down like this. And to the front. And then some toes. Well, underneath. Just like that. And then last but not least, we're going to be drawing the other hind leg. Sorry, the other four legs. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused which comes out down here. And then the front of it comes down and round just like so. This is the front of it here. So if you haven't gone over it in pen already, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. Okay, now we're just going to add a little bit of the finishing touches, so some shadow first, so particularly in areas of shadow underneath, just here. Just adding a little bit more shadow and particularly on the other hind legs. And on this other hind leg as well, just here. on the back of this leg as well. So newborn hairs are called leverets and they're fully developed at birth so that means they've got lots of fur and their eyes are actually open. Okay now for the other foreleg. <laughs> Very confusing when the forelegs are actually behind the back legs. So just a little bit of shadow just like that and then some shadow on the underside here. Okay, just a little bit of shadow on the front of this one. And then behind here. And inside the ears. Behind here as well. And then we can draw a couple of dots and some whiskers. Just like that. And some hair around the eyes. It's 
some fur around the eyes, really. So hopefully yours doesn't look as mad as a March hair. So here's your finished hair. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out this tutorial. You're going to absolutely love it. See you in the next one. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.